Good evening and thank you for joining us. We begin tonight with breaking news with intensive care units in New York City overwhelmed today. The U.S. Navy sailed the hospital ship Comfort into New York Harbor. And tonight that state's governor is issuing a nationwide call to doctors and nurses to join what he calls the front lines of the war on the crisis. And with the U.S. still several weeks away from the peak of infections, he warned New York is a canary in the coal mine. And as we come on the air, there are already more than 160,000 confirmed cases here in the U.S. More than 2,900 have died. There is also some movement tonight when it comes to testing. Abbott Lab says next week it will roll out a diagnostic test with results in five minutes. Also, Virginia, Maryland, Arizona, and Tennessee issued new stay-at-home orders today, joining 28 other states. That means three out of every four Americans have now been told not to go out. And all of that is leading to a sobering assessment from the Federal Reserve in St. Louis that as many as 47 million Americans could be laid off in the coming months. There's a lot of headlines to get to tonight with our correspondents, and Mola Lenghi leads us off tonight from Central Park. Mola? Well, Nora, there have been nearly 100 coronavirus deaths in New York City in just a seven-hour period. Perhaps that best illustrates just how dire this situation is, enough so that the city has put up four makeshift uh, hospitals, these pop-up hospitals, field hospitals, including this one right here in Central Park. About a dozen of these tents designed to give some much-needed relief to hospitals across the city. Help floated into New York Harbor today. The U.S. Naval Ship Comfort, with its 1,000 beds, will treat non-COVID-19 patients to free up much-needed hospital beds in the city. Crowds disregarded social distancing guidelines to get a rare look. Another unprecedented site, this 68-bed field hospital right in Manhattan's Central Park. The faith-based nonprofit Samaritan's Purse set up the coronavirus patient facility. Uh, how desperately is this needed? So we're being told it's, it's significantly needed, especially to offload hospitals in Brooklyn and Queens where they're really struggling. Nursing team leader Tim Mosher says the field hospital has 10 ventilators in their makeshift ICU. Our goal will be to get them off of the ventilator and uh, move them on out of the hospital. Video appears to show a gruesome sight, bodies being put into refrigerated trucks that serve as makeshift morgues. The city's medical supplies running out and intensive care units running low. It's like working in a war zone with limited resources. Brookdale University Medical Center emergency room doctor Arabia Millette says she took this video of the Brooklyn Hospital's pediatric ER. It's been turned into a makeshift isolation room using plastic tape from the ceiling to the floor to help protect nurses and doctors from COVID-19. We're fighting for your lives, but we also fighting for our lives, too. We are also scared. Tonight, across the country, nursing homes are in crisis. At Lakeland Nursing Home there, health officials say eight people have died from coronavirus. At least nine have died at the Family of Care nursing home in Montclair, including Alex Handy's mother, Lona Irwin. The fact that she passed away, I can accept that, but the fact that I didn't get to say goodbye is still what's eating me up inside. First responders are also being dealt a blow. The NYPD says nearly 900 are in quarantine with infections, and the fire department saw its first COVID-19 death. Today, workers at Amazon's Staten Island warehouse walked out, demanding the facility be shut down and cleaned after a worker tested positive. Amazon says they've taken extreme measures to keep workers safe. We believe in laying hands on the sick and they shall recover. And there's this. And Pastor Howard Brown was arrested today after he held services at his Tampa Bay church. Brown is accused of reckless disregard for human life. The safety and well-being of our community must always come first. Well, you have to go all the way back to the Civil War for the last time that Central Park was used for makeshift hospitals. Just a surreal sight out here, and they will begin taking patients as early as tomorrow. Meanwhile, across the country, officials in Los Angeles County are investigating coronavirus cases at 18 nursing homes. More than half of those facilities have three or more confirmed cases, Nora. Mola there in Central Park. Surreal to see that. Thank you, Mola.